Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2542, maximum subsequence score. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given three inputs, where we are given two input arrays and a variable called k. So this k represents the size of the subsequence that we are going to form, right? And there are certain conditions to form that subsequence. So we need to keep adding the elements from the nums1 input array. So we will be adding 1, 3 and 3. So in this stage, we have reached the size of the subsequence. The size of the subsequence is 3. So here we have reached the number of elements as 3, right? So in nums1, we are here, right? The pointer is here. So we need to pick the exact index value in nums2 and multiply that with this total, this sum. So we need to sum these three values and we need to multiply with this three, right? And we will be having a result variable where we will be taking maximum out of this. And in the next stage, we will be appending two, right? So when we reach a size that is greater than this k size, we need to pop the minimum value in this sum that is the in this list right so in this case the minimum will be two so i will pop that from this list then i will multiply with the current index four to this sum then again i will take maximum out of this so i will show you guys with this example step by step right so initially i will create a pair of this two inputs so the pair will be based on the index right so one and two are one pair and three and one are one pair three three are one pair and two four are one pair right then i will sort this particular pair values based on the second value in descending order right so here i have the sorted pairs so the reason why I'm sorting here is that since we are going to multiply with the second element. So here in this case, we are guaranteed that we are going to utilize the maximum value at each and every multiplication, right? So that is the reason why we are sorting here. So initially we will be taking each and every values in the pairwise, right? So initially we will pick two and four and I will add 2 to the total then i will append 2 to the heap then i need to check whether the heap is greater than the given subsequent size 3 so here it's not greater right so we don't have to pop the minimum element from the heap so then we need to check whether the length of the heap is equal to the given size k so it is not equal so we don't have to update the result here so then we pick the next pair 3 comma 3 now again i will append 3 to the heap and i will add 3 to the total as well so now it becomes 5 again the given heap length is not greater than k and it's not equal to k so i will pick the next pair that is 1 and 2 Again, I will append 1 to the heap and I will update the total by 1. So now it becomes 6, right? I will be adding 1 to the total 5. Now it becomes 6. So in this case, the length of the heap is not greater than k, but it is equal to the k. So that is we have a subsequence here. So when we have a subsequence, we need to update our result. So to update the result here, we will be taking the current value in the num2 input array that is 2 and i will multiply this with the total so the total is 6 so we are going to get 12 here and i will take maximum between 12 and result itself so I, then i will update the result variable here so the result will be updated as 12 now then we need to pick the next pair 3 and 1. So now again I will append 3 to the heap and I will add 3 to the total. 
so total becomes 9 now now the length of the heap is greater than the subsequence so the k is 3 the length of the heap is 4 so in this case i need to pop the minimum element from the heap so here i will pop 1 then i will delete 1 in the total as well so i will decrease it by 1 so i'm going to get 8 here so now the heap is equal to the subsequent size so we need to update our result variable so we need to take the current value from the num2 input array that is 1 and i need to multiply with total so i'm going to get 8 here and i will take maximum between 8 and the result variable that is 12 so it is just going to be same as 12 as the result right so i'm done with all the pairs so finally i will return result as 12 right this will be the maximum subsequent score so the time complexity will be order of n log n and space will be order of k that's how the logic is now we will see the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future now also check out my previous videos keep supporting guys so initially i will be having total and result as zero at the start then i will be creating the heap list here so then we are creating the pairs then i'm sorting the pairs based on the second element here then i will be writing a loop where i will pick each and every pair one at a time i will be pushing the first element to the heap then i will add the first element to the total then if the length of the heap is greater than the given subsequent size k then i will pop the minimum element from the heap and then i will subtract that particular element from the total if the length of the heap is equal to the subsequent size k then i will update the result variable by multiplying the total variable and the second value that is num2 value in the pair right then finally i will return result variable as my answer that's how the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys